Well, we're back visiting with Dr. Sonia Spencer at Spencer Chiropractic along with Dr. Stone. It's good to see both of y'all as always. Now, we've been talking in the past and met some of the wonderful uh, stories and patients that y'all have that, in dealing with neuropathy, right. something that a lot of people deal with. Um, what Talk, if you would, about some of the signs of neuropathy, some of the things that you deal with and, the, and how you tr uh, treat them. Okay, well, some of the things that can really cause neuropathy, mm -hmm because um, a lot of people want, want to know, how did I get this way? Because a lot of our patients aren't di diabetic. And, yeah. and that's, that's a number, a big cause is diabetes, but another cause is, is chemotherapy-induced neuropathy. And a, uh, a lot of patients have that after they undergo cancer treatments. They get the neuropathy from chemo-induced mm. neuropathy. And in fact, the study that we have where uh, it's not, the procedure that we do is 90% effective. It's on chemotherapy patients uh, that we, we have that study for. Also, medi certain medications, uh, I have a list of about 15 different medications that can cause neuropathy in really? patients. Yes. So that's, that's a big cause too. And a lot of times people come in and they're on multiple medications that and that just magnifies it. That yes, that are and, and their blood sugar is still even though they're diabetic, their blood sugar is not under control. They're on multiple medications, so they have several factors. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, it you know they can have a spinal stenosis or a problem with their back that's uh, uh, causing the nerves not to be able to uh, be felt all the way down into their feet. It can be closing off those nerves that are going all the way down. To, they can have uh, they could have been exposed to Agent Orange. We have uh, Vietnam veterans or other veterans that were exposed to toxic chemicals. And we're exposed to all types of chemicals in our, in our environment that we're not even aware of. Um, well, I mean, you see this thing on TV all the time right now about this, uh, well, I'll just say Roundup. Yes. You know, the, uh, a chemical that so many of us used out in your yard to kill weeds and everything. All of a sudden, we got class action lawsuits against them because of the of what it has done to the body. So as you said, Dr. Spencer, there's so many things out there. There's so many things, and then uh, alcohol, and um, you know, just consuming consuming a moderate amount of alcohol. You know, you don't have to be an alcoholic for it. To, to, um, just a moderate amount of alcohol in some people, you know, because of their metabolism, can deplete the nutrients uh, that are needed for nerves and can start the nerves uh, dying off. So even people that were heavy drinkers in the past, uh, smokers, you know, all of these things can, can cause neuropathy. And so many of our patients come in have a combination of all of those things going on past, present, and, and uh, probably into the future. Right. Because <laughs> um, a lot of different things show up, a lot of different reasons. Often it's multiple reasons, not just one when a patient comes in. Well, a lot of things show up. Um, people think that they have neuropathy, but Dr. Stone, once they come in and see you or see Dr. Spencer, there's uh, these issues that, no, you don't have neuropathy, something else. Right, right, absolutely. And, uh, and that's why we did the test in the first place. Uh, the examination, we really want to make sure that it is true neuropathy before we get into, into treating it. Mm -hmm. All right, but regardless, um, usually, well, not usually, but sometimes we will come across another condition that we're also able to treat in the office here. Um, a lot of times people will come on in, they'll do a quick, say, a Google search or look at WebMD and say, oh, there it is, I have neuropathy, that's what I'm in here for. Uh, whereas then we go ahead, we do the examination, see maybe their numbness and tingling, the burning is only in one leg versus both of them. Now, neuropathy, uh, yeah, you'll have, you'll have it in one leg, but you will have it in both legs fairly uh, equally. Nine times out of ten. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, correct. Um, so there are a couple things that could start to cause symptoms, uh, well, neuropathy-like symptoms, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that could include something like a, a, a protruding disc or a herniated disc, which obviously we also take care of here in the office. So we would look to, uh, to switch the person more into uh, a chiropractic patient rather than a neuropathy patient at that point. Um, but, like I said, that's why we do the examination in the first place. You know, that's the important thing about it is that, you know, to test the person, and, you know, because, you know, it, what's important to y'all is you want to be sure 
You're getting the proper treatment for uh, what you have. Absolutely, and that's why when patients call our office, you know, the number one thing they want to know is how much does the neuropathy treatment cost? And we're not going to know, actually, if you are a neuropathy patient until we do an examination. And um, so we have to begin with the examination to really find out if you are truly are a neuropathy patient and if we're going to be able to accept your case because we don't accept all neuropathy cases. Mm -hmm. You have to fit the protocol for what we're going to do. So it all begins with an examination and let's determine that you truly are a neuropathy patient that we do feel like is going to respond to the treatment because we only want to accept those patients that we truly feel like we're going to be able to help right. with this care. and. Um, so we do have a really good success rate in treating these patients and we want to maintain that and our patient this is a very satisfying uh, uh, patient right. care yes right. the patients yeah. are so happy um, and and the therapist well, we've talked to so many of your patients in the past here that uh, are just overwhelmed and uh, <coughs> you know are so happy with the results that they had absolutely and and they're just so happy and and they're just thrilled <coughs> with the care that they're getting and so we want to, you know, maintain that with patients and uh, want them to feel good about all the progress that they're, they're making and uh, want to make sure that they're getting the proper treatment for the uh, type of symptom that they have. Dr. Stone mentioned um, herniated disc and so forth, and um, we have an excellent uh, treatment for that for patients who, who sometimes think that they have neuropathy, they have herniated disc problems. Mm -hmm. And we see those a lot of times on the MRIs that we get when we're right. doing their neuropathy exam. We have a, a decompression. Oh my on gosh. The table. Oh yes. Oh, if you need decompression awesome. and you have a disc problem and you're not getting decompression, you are missing out because it is life changing. And um, how long have we been doing decompression in the office? About six months now? I'd say about six months. It has been fantastic, wow. the results we've been getting with decompression on relieving the pressure the pressure off of that nerve that's going mm -hmm. all the way mm -hmm. down the leg into, into the foot. Even on um, some of our failed surgery cases that, that don't have hardware in the lower back, we're able to do uh, decompression. And it's, it's life changing for these people to be able to stand up and go to the grocery store and, and do things that's that amazing. they haven't that's been awesome. able to do in a long time. That's and so great. Dr. Stone really helps me out a lot in the office. In fact, he sees most of the chiropractic patients uh, these days. And uh, But we're a team doctor office, and we, we both take care of them. And you've got a great staff here, a great staff as well. Now, if you're having some issues, uh, what you need to do is uh, call the number on your screen and make an appointment. They are located on Pass Road in Gulfport. Um, it's uh, right across from where Pass Road Elementary, Elementary, <laughs> Elementary School is. Come check them out and get some relief.